Hello and welcome back to another episode of Supercatch Insider. My name is Ben. And I'm Chris. And I'm Swizz. <laughs> hey, Swizzy up from Victoria for a one night special. Um, thank you very much. Please do follow, like, subscribe, SC Insider 100. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Also, all our audio platforms as well. So, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, you name it. And on the YouTube, Chris. Yeah, just search for Supercoach Insider. I'm a, a, a specialist at the, uh, the one night. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the one night special. Um, so this is going to be teams. Uh, Chris is... Chris's team into round 17, so we just thought we're going to join him a little here a little bit. Once teams are announced, uh, Swizz and myself are going to get up online and uh, answer Swizz's usual questions uh, and get through that as well. Today, obviously, sponsored and brought to you by SplashVodka.com.au. So I've hooked the boys up here yeah, yeah. with some SplashVodka.com.au. So some Swizz, take-homes. Swizz has taken home. Chris has taken home. Hell, they'll even take home some vodka. Uh, also... <laughs> Also, as well, today brought to you by manscaped.com. I was so, actually just going to take my uh, my shirt off and show the manscaped. Oh, please, but, no. please, please, please do not. <laughs> but support for Supercoach Insider is obviously brought to you by manscaped.com, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Their products are precision engineers tools for your family jewels. Uh, Manscaped Performance Package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle over 4 million men worldwide. 4 million men worldwide. That's 8 million balls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, or just gentlemen. Uh, so go to... Um, uh, manscaped.com with the exclusive offer. It is still continuing to run. I checked it this morning. SC Insider Online. 1 on the line. SC Insider 100. You can still get your 25% uh, 20% off and free worldwide shipping. So thank you as well to Manscaped dot com for continuing their support. It's get interesting on there. that um that they call it the performance package because it definitely makes your package perform. perform? Oh, <laughs> well, I feel like this would be like a this is like an Austin, that was like an Austin Powers yeah. thing. Yes. You're right. Preparation, preparation, preparation H does, does feel good on the whole. And that is all of the sponsorships out of the way. So Chris, I'll let you take it and rock it and roll. Oh, well obviously this absolute um Shit fight that is my team at the moment. Um, I'm spiraling and Swizz is just going like a freight train down the end of the, the Flemington. Um, and look, I'll go through. I did make some trades. I, I made a long term play. Um, and this, I haven't, I, I should have, um, I, I know I've missed a couple of weeks here and there uh, in, in regards to my team. So just to keep you updated. So last week, um, I decided to bite the bullet. You know, I, I got really upset about this, but um, obviously I had Stewart. So what did I do two weeks ago? I traded Nick Dacos to Tom Stewart. Yay. Well done, well done. <laughs> so you've lost so the trade and lost points. Lost the trade, lost points. And and so I had a look at Tom Stewart and there were some trade-out options, but unfortunately with his 39 his cycle – um, and he, his price at the time, I think it was 560k. I only had 2k in the bank. So I had literally nothing. I couldn't just, I couldn't go up to the guys who I wanted to, either Sicily or Dawson. Um, those are the only guys that I wanted. Outside of that, I didn't want anyone else. I couldn't even go up to Sinclair, but I wouldn't have had him even if I wanted him. Those are the only three guys that I would probably suggest are alternatives, but I couldn't get to them. So my only option was to go down. And I, I cancelled, I put a line through Aaron Hall very quickly and I'm very glad that I did. Can you imagine if I went Aaron oh, Hall? Oh, could you imagine? Oh, oh, going, going down to Aaron Hall. <laughs> that wouldn't have, have been it. fun. I would have had to get Manscaped up to go down <laughs> <Yes>. first. <laughs> um, anyway, no, so I'm glad I avoided that bullet, but I, I was hot on the fact that the only one really below, like, and there was Rich also, there was um, Zorko, like there were guys that I could go to. I'm glad I avoided all those bullets. Um, and I went for Stephen May. Um, so I I didn't go from Stuart to May. What I ended up doing was I was able to trade Ware and um, Clark. So I went Ware and Clark and I, I brought in Tunstall, who's actually played really well last week. And I think he'll be in the side for a little Did bit. Did he score a Super Gage 100? Uh, no, he did not. Then he's not a Tunstall. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Tunstilling. <laughs> Um, what sucks though, so I trade a where, where goes 89? <laughs> like, like, so, so whatever Chris does this I week, just help. avoid. So hey, you, you got yourself 19 more points, mate. Yeah, no, well, yeah, Stephen exactly May. right. Yeah, so Stephen May points. went 108. He was actually my number one defender for the week because I had an absolute shocking defensive line. 
Um, oh, he was your number one. <laughs> <It was. laughs> so everyone else had three guys Luke go on thirty plus, and I would had Stephen May at one hundred and eight. I laugh, but I've got I've got four of his defenders as well. Yeah, it's just that yeah, people, have, pe- people have people um, have Dawson, people have Sicily, and people have Sinclair. Right, those were all value options that I didn't get on board. Of course, everyone knows the Witherden debacle. I think Witherden ended up like going to Parish, who's also fucked me and may not play this week. Yeah, calf injuries. Yes. Like so, so yeah. So um, look, the long term play of that it, by trading those two guys that were on the bench was basically trading two non playing players to a guy that was playing to eventually get Stewart back, who will be the number one defender for the rest of the season. So then you go, okay, well, I, I can't afford to bring Stuart back in four weeks. Like, I, it's just not worth it. But what is worth it is getting in a guy that could potentially mean that I have a D7 playing or looping so I can push Ryan or Short, who are both fucking shit, or Crisp, they're all shit, um, to D7, um, play May on field or vice versa, um, and that'll depend on fixtures and you know, a whole bunch of different things. I can also move Short to, um, uh, to midfield because... I brought in Mountford as my uh, non-playing loop player. Um, yeah, I was just noticing that. Good old Mountford. So I've now got cover in both the midfield and defence for the rest of the season, but I do only have two trades left. So, so whilst I used two trades instead of using one, I added cover for the rest of the season and kept Stewart. So I thought that was in a better position considering that I only would have had two trades left, specifically because I also still have Darcy Cameron and I'll yeah. have to trade him. Uh, when uh, Grundy comes back in well, three good weeks, thing Darcy so. Cameron's quite expensive, so you should be able to go. I'll go to um, anyone. I mean, I can. I Bailey can get Smith, Heaney, Bailey, but I Bob, do that. Bailey Smith by that time. Bailey, oh, yeah. oh fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heaney. Yeah, so I'll, I'm, I hope. Hopefully, I mean, I've only got two K. So yeah. whatever happens, Bailey Smith when he drops. Well, one, uh, be fine. yeah. So Bailey Smith, I think, is a five fifty K right now. So if I can get another thirteen, one thirty break of, even, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So if I, I think Darcy Cameron's still got a break even about 85. So the plan is hopefully Bailey Smith, but we'll see what happens. Um, you visit more, I'm going to need to buy a third <laughs> mic, mate. This has four mic capacity. Oh, four. <laughs> it does. It's got three speeds. Um, yeah, so look, my, my defense is what's letting me down. Obviously the midfield, you know, on a week where I, that all the, the defenders went spastic. Also, I didn't have Petraka. So. Chris, you can't say things like that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Like, like, Went nuts. When went, they went, 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 went mental. Manscaped. Like, yeah. <laughs> went well, Either way, whatever. Uh, and it's no longer socially or um, acceptable. To yeah. Use that word. Anyway, yes, go on. So, I mean, I, I do have Darcy, so that's better than Wits. Um, English comes back this week, which is good. Um, so, my forward line's looking good, um, and I've got cover on all the lines. Unfortunately, it, as I said, Parrish looks like he probably won't play, um, which would suck, but... Tunstall! It's a ton yeah, up. Yeah, oh, The thing is, like... If it's a calf, it's probably only again one to two or whatever it is, and I can't really trade him. Plus, he's not really like work, like. But this is a funny thing. I looked at trading him to Walsh. I'm five k. I'm three k short because he's five k more expensive. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you only have eighteen hundred in the bank. So I can only go down and like so I don't think there's. It's any beneficial money. to have money in the bank, is what you're saying? Yeah, probably. Spending, um, can, you're spending can we... a lot of time going down right now, mate? Oh, well, it's... only because the guys that are getting injured. Uh, guys that are like at their lowest value at the moment, like the like Parish two weeks ago was six hundred and twenty k. You know who's at a low value? Petraka. Yeah, well, I can one trade him to Petraka, but like, what's the point? Um, hang on, can, this is really going to this is going to annoy me, Chris, Tunstall because we're going to have to put up with this in the chat later. But um, can we fix your team, please? Because the game starts in an hour and fifteen minutes, and you've got Clary straight captain. Yeah, that'd be good. Can you fix? Can him? we fix that, please? I don't even have them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. otherwise man. you'll be like, oh, I was busy dad life thing, and oh, I didn't realize I had Clayton Oliver as my straight yeah, up captain. True. You can put okay. Neil as the C, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Shout out to the super coach as a mama preface, for that mistake last week. As, yeah, super <laughs> coach mama. Shout so out. yeah, I think that the the logical thing is is Oliver to Neil. Um, the thing with oh, I actually don't love the Oliver VC tonight, but I think it's good just as a blocker. Um, and the main reason is most people will. Yeah, obviously a tough game. Um, but the the I think O'Connor probably tags Oliver. Um, there's a chance that he just goes straight to Petraka because he's easier to shut down though. So I don't want to be the one holding the bag. But usually, what happens in games like this is I find if they've got one lockdown player and they've dedicated to locking down mm. a player, 
they might only go a half on Petraka and then the second half they go to Oliver and therefore it restricts their score to probably like a 120, yeah. 130. They, they try and like shut down the yeah. confidence. So then we're going to shut you down. You are so lacking in confidence that you're not going to kill the second half like you would and then we're going to try and stop someone else and so, try and yeah. almost shut yeah. down two players in yeah, one. Exactly and that's right. where like, do it. I really like that sort of either mills McRae option because I feel like they could just shake hands and go off and do their own thing. And Took always seems to play well at home and especially against the Tigers as well. So you've got options. We've all got options this week. Even Laird playing the Hawks. So like he smashed it the last time, but I think he plays after Neil. So you need a yeah. late loophole. For that uh, yeah, unfortunately, you need a late one. But it, it's one of those things you roll the dice and you go, you beauty. But then we know what Clary can do. And then you go, fuck, do, do I have regret? I mean, the other option is I could just straight captain Jack Crisp, guys, because he's going to absolutely oh. kill North this week. <laughs> I reckon he gets it an option. Jack well, Crisp one fifty coming off his like what uh, I think second nah, lowest he's score of the season. Ca- Crisp is capped at one twenty. Don't even go there. Day, uh, day cost day cost before. to get forty touches and go one fifty. Well, no, nah, they have to score game. for him to get points, yeah. man, because it's got to be down defence. No, no, you're right. <laughs> and you, on the wing. Well, yeah. that's what happened to Crisp last time when he um, had a really bad game, and then he just came out and absolutely smoked it. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, look, uh, it's just a block of VC. It's just in case he goes 140 plus, right? And you just don't want to be caught holding the bag. I'm okay with it. I think you've got heaps of options for the captain later. Um, but yeah, I, I think just, just to block myself, because I think let's call it 80% of the top thousand will probably go VC Oliver. Well, last week, Oliver was in, I think it was about 3,500 out of the top 5,000. So he'll be more this week because of FOMO and people just don't want to miss out. So VC, I reckon. 95% of the top 5,000. Yep. Yeah, so... They, ju- they just have and, to. And they have to because have some, to. some people don't have the loopholes. Like, like now, we've, most of us do have loopholes that have opened up. But, you know, for whatever reason, you might have the Ambrose and we are in your back line, so that's done. You, I don't know who else you might have in the ruck, for example, but it, it might be an early guy. And all of a sudden, you're like, well, fuck, I can't go a uh, took or, or whatever because, yeah, it's too late in the weekend. Yeah, it makes sense. So safety numbers, safety yeah. numbers, yeah, for that one. And then you know, if he fails, then you just it opens yourself right up to a huge amount of captain possibilities. So um, I think then you can you know try and target a, a more true pod. Um, but Neil should really go well as well. Like so, well, Neil's dominated Essendon in the last how long? His yeah. average is huge against Essendon. Absolutely. Like, I, like the, the the funny thing is because my mate Abdul, who's what he's back back in fifth. Um, and oh. Abdul doesn't have Neil because oh, he best, traded yeah. him out, the best ones and he's right been um, okay, he's been tagging Essendon all week, saying you ne- you need to tag it Neil this week because he just destroys you. Um, so the very few people who have Neil, I know they've been trying to shout out to Essendon and lock him down, but I feel like Neil's just getting another forty touches and dominating. Well, Neil's averaging one hundred twenty point three again, eight uh, eleven games yeah. against Essendon. So I mean. Say no more. And a lot of people going Neil. So, again, safety numbers for sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, so, look, what am I doing this week? Probably nothing. <laughs> um, I can't really afford to. Again, like, I've, I've really only got one yeah, trade got left. Um, one for Cameron and then one spare. Yeah, exactly right. So, I can't really afford, unfortunately, to, to go and uh, and spend up and, and do another trade. If I could, I'd be, I'd be trying to upgrade Short or Ryan to... Dawson or one of those guys, but again, no cash. I would have to use two. Um, if you're in a position where you have trades, then I'd be looking to do that. I mean, sh- I've, uh, what's Short's five round average? Uh, it must be like eighty seven or something like that. It's, it must be terrible. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Eighty seven point four. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. I I didn't research that beforehand. That was actually just off the cuff. <laughs> Um, you know, still 7.4 points higher than what Billings is going to average this year. So that's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, here's what I read earlier. Um, no, so yeah, I think it, that would be a good idea because you're, you're probably losing 23 to 20 to uh, more than 23 points per game. I think um, the five game average of Jordan Dawson at the moment is 121. So you what's that? That's uh, thirty three points per game, and if you're taking that over the next seven. eight weeks, seven weeks, seven. So that's one third. Seven, seven, seven. seven. Uh, give it a bit of a four, it, a five. It, give it a four, three. I'm going to throw in there, Chris. Bit of friends, look at you. Vlosland's out this week, so watch. Oh short. Yeah, yeah, people are going to trade yeah. short out and watch him go like one thirty for sure. Oh, absolutely. VC short for yeah, sure. Absolutely, he's dominating this week. <laughs> 
Uh, who are they playing this week? Suns. Gold Coast. Yeah, that's why, why do you think oh, I'm here, yeah, mate? Yeah, the Gold Coast. You guys are going <laughs> to yeah. lose, though. So. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, Levi and Chol. Levi and Chol. I get to watch Richmond play our VFL team. You, you do oh. get to the Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, the, the benefit is that this week you can actually see the, the star of the competition in, in full flight, which is Isaac Rankin. and <laughs> <laughs> Marbio, mate. I get to see Chol back in action. Mark, well, I don't think Markov's playing, unfortunately. Uh, honestly. Brandon. Is he injured, Markov? Yeah, uh, Marbio COVID played related. so good last week. At, like, he could have kicked way more than what he did. Yeah. Um, I actually love him as a as an option for you guys uh, for the Gold Coast. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, you us, guys. Us guys. That's our second. Well, Let's be honest. Once Gold Coast King are comes our back, seconds, Casbolt's not playing at all. So you'll have they'll have Ben King, and that, and then they'll be able to continue to use Chol as their sort of third yeah. tool. Wait, yeah. How upset would Carlton be? I mean, GWS be then. The GWS seconds in Carlton are winning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how good was the Blues to actually wear orange in their strip last week to dedicate uh, yeah, to their seconds? Oh, Tip you, the cap. You, you keep talking about Toronto coming to Richmond. Yeah, though. I know. That's, I don't really, I'm not that fan, big of a fan of that. I want Tom Green. Yeah, it won't happen. Oh, we'll, we'll, no, oh, mate, no. it will. Next that, year, that, watch it happen. Oh. I think that's it, is it? Yeah, that wraps us up, guys. Um, I will uh, be looking to continue to update you guys, mainly with my score and rank. Um, oh, I didn't even say that at the start, but no, um, I, I'm, I'm down to 1,600. It like it's, for a long yeah, time. It doesn't matter. So Chris had a good my lowest rank of the season. Chris thought he was doing okay and then <laughs> dropped 528. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm okay. not even shocked. One day I'm gonna. <laughs> that, be... That's what. That's really why I'm here. Just yeah. because I'm now like half the ranking yeah, that you exactly are. Right. Wait, one day I'm gonna win the weekly with my fucking team. So fuck you guys <laughs> yeah. all. All right. When May goes 140 tonight, you can you can thank me later. All right. You know the, the, the funny Come part. The funny part is that our team ha- wasn't too dissimilar. Do you know what I mean? It's been my defence. All yeah, year it's been lacking. But our, our team hasn't been too dissimilar. A few little things. I mean, I'm jealous you got Cameron, but. Um, our teams are, have been pretty similar from the starting. A few little differences, but that's that's all it takes sometimes is the little differences. Um, sometimes I don't even think I'm going well, and then now I bring in Heaney, so I definitely don't think I'm going well. <laughs> but then I'm still ranked like 200, and then I look at Chris's team, and I'm like, there's it's not too dissimilar. Like, I don't understand how you're sliding and I'm holding. Sometimes it's, it's really there's no, there's weekly, no, right? There's not many points between that sort of 100th uh, spot out like to 1,000. And because all the... the Cheaper options were, you know, like your Brodies and everything else. I feel like there's a big log jam in that first sort of yeah. three to five thousand. I feel like everyone's so close. Whereas previously, you could hold on to a top few hundred for quite a while. Whereas this year, I think it's so competitive that any given bad week, you could slide five hundred. Like just scoring twenty four fifty and sliding five hundred points is ridiculous in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. And I well, don't think that's happened before. Uh, it's it's because, so again, there's, there's four players that are very highly owned that I don't have. And I'm all, like they all fired the same week. So what do you do? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll tell you the reason I think behind it because we've got the extra trades this year, which yeah, yeah. haven't been COVID really related. So people have made more aggressive moves of that. So you'll find, I know, I think Abdul might be oh. down to zero trades now. Well, yeah, uh, so I, I think the leader today, yeah. yeah, is down to zero or maybe one. Or people and going with so, the speculative. So some of the top Darcy players yeah, have, have been Kitty really, Coleman. <laughs> really right. aggressive. Absolutely and, and then it. the dual position as well this year yeah. has really changed things. Well, the other thing, that, yeah, well, and I think changed things, honestly, for the worst because it, it's harder than you've got, you've got to go with, the like when Bont and like Bailey Smith now. now you're like well I I was gonna hold like I was gonna hold Butters I was gonna hold Kinley yeah I traded them to try and get more aggressive in them and then I traded like um, Kinley back <laughs> so it's <laughs> yeah, actually it cost <laughs> it costed me two trades yeah to, for no reason but I mean look I, I've had fun this year um I'm not gonna complain it's about it well yeah. and yeah it, like at the end of the day you know if I you look at you look at your team if I didn't start Ryan and I start a Sicily instead. Oh. You know, if I, Mate, that's been our debate been today. I said, day. if I didn't start Whitfield and went Sicily, like, yeah, like hallelujah, like, yeah. what could have happened? Yeah. Poor okay. Katrina at lunch, and all she's copying is, if only we started <laughs> you know, Sicily instead of Whitfield hey, in hey, my hey, team. Hey, 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 that's not all she was copying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I had Sicily Shout in my out team. to my lovely I, wife. Like, yeah. let's, <laughs> let's call the preseason three months, right? I reckon I had Sicily in there for two months and like. Yeah, twenty three days. Yeah, like, and you know the worst thing like, is because how many times I was bagging the shit out of Whitfield all preseason, yeah. and then I st- put yeah, him in worst, last moment. The worst part was that fifty meter descent roll. I'm like, well, there goes Sicily, <laughs> well, there <you> go. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't given away a fifty yet, or been suspended. I feel really let down, Sicily. Yeah. Really Lift your down. game. Yeah. 
Anyway, That's all it. right, well, thanks, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next pod. Thanks for the special release. Yes. Like, subscribe. We'll see you soon. Swizz and I are about to go live. Team's announcement in 10 minutes. Yes. Obviously, you'll get this late. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>